And, and normally what they do is what I just mentioned a moment ago, they take a really good party and they make it really bad. That's what DJs at sporting events do. You know, again, you'd think that it would be a dream gig for a DJ. You get to play music for thousands of fans. If you hit the right song, you're going to send that place into a frenzy, right? But there's nothing fresh. There's nothing new. There's nothing original. Here we are in 2009, and they keep going back to Gary Glitter over and over and over again. Tell me you hear that song one more time. I mean, how do you go with the same song for 20 years? Yeah, da na 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 na. Hey, we know glitter. We got it, glitter. It's not even like just one team in one sport. Every team in every sport, in every arena, every single night. We get it, glitter. Look out! Here it comes. Hey, hey, oh, he hit it again, perfectly. Yeah, I got it, Glitter. You know, when the home team in an NBA game rattles off a 12-0 run and forces a timeout for whatever reason, and I can't figure it out, but the arena DJ just has to play freaking YMCA during the most exciting moment of the game. Extraordinarily fresh. Is there a bigger buzz kill or a song more square or something that would take the air out of the arena faster than the YMCA? And I refuse to learn how to do that thing, by the way. I can't do it. I can't make the letters, and I'm proud of it. Yeah, the guy could probably handle the Y if I was so inclined. There is a degree of difficulty in the C when you got to get sideways with it. Got to break it back to the A. If you can do that, here it comes. Wait for it. Awesome. Yeah. He's doing the, he's doing the YMCA again. I'll bet you if you actually, show that, Alvin. I bet you if you ever actually looked at it, I bet if they ever did a study on it, I would bet you the YMCA led to more picks and turnovers and and ten to two runs the other way than it does anything else for the home team. Have you ever seen a quarterback not throw a pick after the YMCA? I mean that song's older than every guy playing the game. You never get anything cool or anything fresh in the arena. You know, and as long as you feel like we've got to give the fans the total entertainment package, we've got to shoot T-shirts into the crowd, and we've got to give them, there can't be any downtime during a game. There has to be entertainment value every second of every single night if we're going to command top dollars. Great. Give us more than glitter and the YMCA. And if it's not celebration by Cool and the Gang, I'm going to cut these guys a little slack because they once did a song for the jungle. That was something to celebrate. So if we probably could have stopped celebrating that song. So if we probably could have stopped celebrating that song 30 years ago. Seriously, what's the best you can hope for? The very best you can hope for at this point, at best, at best, maybe some Black Eyed Peas song from four years ago, or maybe if you're really lucky and the DJ in the arena is out in front of it and really cutting edge and really fresh, maybe some Outcast from five years ago. Because they haven't beat that song on the ground. Because that song's not dead yet. Because we can hear that another five million times. Very breezy. You think that's stale? How about this? Because that's not dated. Nothing gets the joint jumping like the electronic drum. You are you playing that on your Casio? Is that on your guitar?
Yeah, because I badly want to go to the arena to get some of this. All right, what this leads me to, and I've got his back on it, is Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant said it point blank. You know, we got to step our game up at Staples because some of these songs that they're playing just don't do it. You know, some of those cheesy 80s songs, which are Staples, at Staples, aren't getting it done. Kobe Bryant said a point blank, quote, you walk in, it's like the nice, because they're playing Cindy Lauper and all this other kind of corny stuff. The music needs to be upgraded severely, quote, unquote. Amen, Mamba. Look, nothing against Cindy Lauper. You know, for a 50-year-old gal, she's still pretty cool and funky. But it's easy to understand why Kobe's not down. Easy to understand why Kobe's not ready to punch somebody in the mouth to the sounds of girls just want to have fun. Like, ladies and gentlemen, your Los Angeles Lakers. I don't think Mad Dog's going to break out after hearing that. Of course Kobe doesn't want to hear that crap. He was probably like five years old when Lopper was getting nice. Nice with that. But just because the Laker girls like it doesn't mean the Laker players do. Or the Laker fans. Like, Ed Guard. 6'6", six, six, from Lower Marion High School, Kobe Bryant. say this other than to say that just sucks. He's not looking to light some fool up after hearing that. And you're going to ask Jordan Farmar and Luke Walton to man up and tough it out. Just be sure to wake them up before they go-go. Damn with the proverbial exclamation point. Look, I'm not even asking that arena or stadium DJs get all cutting edge with it. I'm not even saying they've got to play like My Morning Jacket or Kanye. But I don't think that at least playing something from the freaking 90s is too much to ask. 80s music is good for karaoke bars and lame resets in your emails to this show. But it's not for firing up the Western Conference champs when they're looking to take the floor. I don't want to hear wham ever again at Staples. 